Heartbreaking local story. A young boy was hit and killed while walking to school this morning. Tonight, Gresham police are still investigating. That crash happened this morning just before 830 at 5th and Hogan. We're told the driver stayed at the scene and is talking with police. Fox 12's John Hendricks is there live now with how the neighborhood is reacting. John. Well, a pretty tough day for the neighbors here in Gresham. Give you a look at Hogan Road, which is back open earlier today. It was filled with flashing police lights and yellow tape. Officers were here investigating that deadly crash that killed a young boy crossing in that crosswalk. It's a tough morning for so many off Hogan Road in Gresham. Rain falling and the flash of police lights fill the air near 5th Street. Just this, another sad event. This is where a young boy who was headed to school at Dexter McCarty Middle School was hit and killed by a car Monday morning. I was really shaken up just because I know that my son takes that to and from school every day. The what if still running through Nikki Webster's mind. She says she was taking her own son to school when that crash happened. In that short amount of time, um, we were able to see the pedestrians crossing and a car just go through the red light. Police say the boy was in the crosswalk, the walk signal on when he was hit by that car. As soon as he was hit, um, there was no movement and um, EMTs were there very quickly and trying to tend to him. Gresham PD says the driver stayed and was cooperating blocks away. Candles still sit. Police lights flashing in the background. The words, we miss you so much and we love you. Notes to a young man killed here on Christmas Eve just weeks ago. Really upsetting knowing that our kids, even though they're taught their safety uh, measures and to wear bright colors, um, to walking groups that, the, you know, our drivers are not being as equally as safe. Those who live in this part of Gresham want to see changes. I'm hoping that the city will take action and maybe lower the speed limit through the neighborhood there because there are so many kids that are walking and riding bikes. Others would like to see a flashing crosswalk here. A lot of bicycle traffic out here, a lot of folks walking. Uh, there's the sidewalks are almost kind of non-existent. At the very least, they'd like to see drivers be more aware and slow down so no other family has to endure the loss of a loved one. Take this very seriously before we lose any more lives or anyone's hit. Now the school sent out a letter to parents today saying their condolences and thoughts go out to that boy's family. They also say counselors were on hand this afternoon and they will be back again at the school tomorrow. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, Fox of Oregon.